Welcome. So you've seen in the old world style HD sets, we've also included a lot of blank buildings. And we did this because we wanted you to be able to decorate your own. So today I'm going to show you how to use from Old World's HD Towns set 18, uh, how to use the tile sheets to create your own buildings. This first video we're just going to concentrate on setting up your file. So let's do that. We're going to go to New, New Map, and you've seen in our tile sheets that we've Put in there. There are usually four objects across, six objects uh, up and down. And each one takes approximately three square blocks. Uh, we go by traditionally what has been what we did for Roll20, and that was their default is a 70 by 70. Uh, a lot of us artists were drawing in 140 by 140, so you could actually zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to keep that here. You could actually create your grid size. Uh, no matter what you want. So let's do this. We're going to go view. Let's turn on the grid so you can see. So each of these blocks. So if we're setting up a new one, we're going to set up a new map. So each of these blocks I'm going to keep at the 140 by 140. I could put it at 300 by 300 dpi um, or what have you. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to keep it at 140 by 140. It's easy to import then uh, when you save and create your maps. As I mentioned, we're four by six. So, and since each uh, object takes a three by uh, three by three, you multiply by three. So, four times three is twelve. Three times six is eighteen. Now we're going to save it as. And I'm just putting up setting up for new tile sheet two because I've done this a couple times to practice. So that's what you should be seeing right now. Above, in this large box, this tells you where all your layers are. And for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to right-click. You'll see New. We're going to do an image layer. Okay, Your image layer is what you're going to import here in just a moment. Um, but let's right-click again and click Object Layer. Sorry about the dinging phone. We're going to move that below 1 and then click on Object Layer again and we're going to add one more. And this is just kind of setting us up for our layers just so you can play. You're going to be playing between different layers. Now go to image layer, click on that, right click, okay, go to layer properties. In the left hand side this column appears and you'll see in the image layer down here it says image. On the right hand side there's a grayed out picture. Click that, the three dots for a menu will open up. That's for your browsing. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring in one of the pictures. And let's do this one. And there you go. It has now appeared as your background. Now since it's an image layer and that's our kind of our main focal point, we're going to go ahead and lock that layer. Down below, this is where your tile sheets come in. You can either add a new tile set for the first one. After this, you can't do it. So go down here, and this has a little piece of paper with a star on it. Click on New Tile Set, Browse. And I strongly suggest as you purchase these sets, start putting the tile sheets into one file. Uh, when Tiled uses it, it wants to pull from lo one location. If you move it, then it ha you have to redo a lot of your work and that's frustrating as hell. So just move everything into one file folder uh, and keep it in one location so as you build your maps you know exactly where they are. And so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to bring in a couple more. We'll bring in this one. And when I say couple I obviously don't know what I'm talking about because I'm going to bring in several. And is several like just like three or is it four? We'll just call it multiple. We're going to bring in multiple. And I'm going to bring one more in. Do, 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 do. I have made so much art. Oh, there it is. 
and OK. So now, as you go through, you can use all these items to decorate. And I'm going to scale that down so I can see it. One other thing we're going to do here, now that we've got our image layer in, we can click off this left-hand column. Boom. And we can also bring that up in scale. You can also zoom in or zoom out by just clicking on the inside this box, on, not on top of the object, hitting Control plus or Control minus will help zoom in, zoom out. And in the next video, we will show you how to start decorating. Thanks for watching.